the witnesses related to Ms. Patterson. We heard from Corey Runkle. We heard from Erica Patterson herself. My impression, based upon Erica Patterson's testimony, who, by the way, she showed grace and dignity facing you, the man who clearly has no regard for her as a mother of one of your children, as someone you had a, a domestic partnership with and a relationship with at one point. That's not true. We know, and I would say this goes to your character, what was shown through that altercation and going up the hill, following her, slapping her, you know, the rules don't matter to you, not the rules of the road, not the rules established by court orders, not the rules even of decorum and decency. And I'll get to this more fully when I talk about your character. And I know you went hard at Attorney Opper for her bringing these things up, but those are legitimate, lawful sentencing considerations. And when I get to that point, I'll tell you the case law that supports that. Your character, your even your pending cases. I don't need no case law. <clears throat> We know at the time of all of this, right, you were out on bond for two felony cases, one involving a handgun, one involving the same vehicle in Erica Patterson, and one involving ultimately intimidation of Ms. Patterson. We know that you, that on November 20th, and she was very contrite about this, she told you where she was, she, she invited you out there that you had contact with her on the 20th. There was never some physical. Contact with her on the 20th. Mr. Brooks, this is my time. That's you need reason, to not interrupt. That's the reason why the, uh, the charge was dropped. Mr. Brooks, the state you need to said stop. specifically, wrote you, Your Honor, and said that they know it was no incident that day. Mr. And Brooks, now you want to sit up here. Do not interrupt me you, or you will be removed to and, the other and courtroom. And now you want to sit up here Stop and try to now. And try to add something in that you know for a fact never even happened. You want to sit up Mr. here and Brooks, talk about every who time has grace and all this. You're talking about someone with five kids that don't have custody. You need to stop None right now or you will be removed. Remove me then. All right. He will be removed. He cannot simply stay quiet when this court talks. I don't consent to being sentenced anyway. I don't consent to this just like I told you. I don't know the... He'll uh, be in recess until he's removed to the other He'll be in recess until he's removed to the other courtroom. The, the true nature and cause.